Hello everyone, my name is Jesse and today we're going to be looking at my entire Bakugan collection. Now I want to preface this with a couple things. First off, this isn't every Bakugan I own, but it's the ones I keep. So the ones that are in my collection, I do sell some, so I'm not going to be showing those. If you want to see the Bakugan I sell, you can check out the links in the description. There's my eBay and Mercari, so if you want to check those out, that's the place to be. This is going to be strictly my collection that's not for sale. Uh, other than that, we're going to be going in order from season, so from season one all the way to Bakutech. And uh, yeah, should be a good video. Going to go pretty quick because this video took a very long time to prep and make. Um, so please just, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, comment who your favorite Bakugan in my collection is, all that good stuff. Also want to go ahead and mention here, I'm not doing any reboot. This is going to be strictly legacy. So we're going to start the showcase off with my favorite card in my collection. It's a gold um, card called Garvarian. It says players with a Chaos Bakugan in their used or unused pile get 100 G power to their Bakugan at this battle. I just really like the card design. I think the, the Ghost Lady is really cool. And uh, yeah, it's just an interesting card. You know, you got a bunch of different power-ups on here. Um, and it's also good for Chaos because of that 100+. plus. So it's pretty much good for everything but Darkest and Aquas, which I really like. All right, first up, of course, is gonna be a B1 Pyrus Dragonoid. So pretty basic, must have right there. Chaos Tigrera, Subterra Gorum. All these are B1, by the way, these first couple sets right here. Have a B1 Ventus Skyrus, and then an Aquas Preus. Also, these two are open core, which is really interesting. And then we have the uh, Translucent Darkus Hydronoid. This is B2 because it only came in B2. Have a Subterra Hammer Gorm, Aquas Diablo, and then the Aquas Angelo. Both of these are like flipped sides, so you can actually, you know prop them up like this so it's the full the full Bakugan right there which is really awesome. Chaos Blade Tigrera. Pyrus Delta Dragonoid. And then Ventus Storm Skyrus. I have both translucent and regular dual hydronoid. This is a custom painted ring for the B2. So I have these guys. And then same matching here, I have both Darkest and Translucent Alpha Hydronoid, so right there. And then I have Pyrus Infinity Dragonoid. I have a custom painted Wavern and the DS exclusive Silent Naga. So got these guys right here. Had a little trouble opening there. <laughs> All right, next up, I've got some of the like side characters partner back on. So I have a Chaos Tentaclear. Pyrus Fortress, uh, Aquas Juggernoid, who was owned by that one little kid in the show. This is a B1 as well. Sirenoid, and then Harpus. The only one I do not have is a Subterra Cycloid, and I'm not going to pay $400 for it. So uh, I'm okay with that not being in my collection for now. I also have all the Warrior Bakugan in some way custom painted. So I have Darkest Exedra with a custom painted like uh, bottom piece right there, which is show accurate. I have Oberus custom painted right there and on the nails. Apollinear. Frosh custom painted on the face and some other parts. And then I have a uh, custom painted Clayf and then Lars Lion right there. And that's going to conclude the entire season one of my Legacy collection. Next up, we have my new Vestoria collection, which I did two things. The first thing I did was I tried to collect them in their translucent version. However, if they did not have a translucent version or there was a rarer version available, I propped it to get that typically because it was more anime accurate. So you'll see that um, with some of the Helios and then the Minx Elf in here. First up, we've got we got Ventus Ingram right here. Very cool. Aquas Elfin, Darkest Percival. And then I have a clear Nemesis here. Um, so they never made Saint Nemesis in the anime. It was only uh, the regular Nemesis and then the Mega Nemesis. So I opted to get the pre-evolution, which was never in the show instead. You'll see this with Wilda too. Neo Dragonoid. Uh, just regular old Wilda. And then of course a Hex Viper Helios, which isn't translucent, but it's the most anime accurate you can get that was sold. One of my favorite Bakugan. Next we have uh, Mega Nemesis, which... Uh, I got in crystal, which is very nice. 
really like this backer gun as well. I have the special color anime accurate Minx Elfin. They never made a translucent version of this, but they do have this special color anime accurate one, which is more all, which is also one of my favorite backer gun. And then we have Thunder Wilda. Uh, keep in mind they never made Flare Wilda. There was a prototype that was supposed to be like a, a light up backer gun, but it was only a prototype and never actually officially released. So this is what we get. Got my custom painted Cyborg Helios, which has trouble opening. Uh, there we go. For some reason, Cyborg Helios always has trouble opening, which is really weird, but custom painted, really cool. And then we have the uh, DS exclusive uh, Japanese cross translucent Pirate Dragonoid. Very awesome, very hard to get as well. Ventus Master Ingram, really nice. And then we have my rarest Bakugan probably, which is Darkest Translucent Knight Percival. Very nice, still got the G-Power covered and everything. Have an anime accurate Pyrus Helios MK2. So the black version, which is the most anime accurate you can get. And then I have my Helix Dragonoid, which can also deploy the deluxe um, jet core. Really nice. So this is all translucent. This usually lights up. I think the batteries are dead in it. And that's gonna do it for the new Vestroia set. On to the third season. All right, up for season three. First we have a Ventus Hawk Tour and then his respective Battle Gear Swather right there. Aquimos and his Battle Gear Gigarth. Aranaut and his Battle Gear, which I believe is Battle Crusher if I'm remembering the names right. Linehaul and his Battle Gear. Corridum and his battle gear. Lumino Dragonoid and his battle gear right there. And then Blitz Dragonoid and his battle gear. Really nice. So that is all I've got for season three. All right, up next is season four, which is still incomplete. I am still looking for a few. Um, I'm having some difficulty finding them for a good price, so I'm, I'm opting to hold off. But uh, we're gonna go through what I have anyways. So, first up we have Talion, and then Mutant Talion. I can get it to open. Mutant Talion right there. I also have the Baku Nano here, which is Hammermore. Really cool. So, that's these guys. Baku Sky Raider Jakor. <laughs> right there. And then I have um, Skytris and Oberus. So we got Oberus and then there's Skytris. Again, more Baku Sky Raiders, so they jump. These guys can also combine to make a Bakugan called Magma Fury. I have a custom painted Darkest Mutant Helios, which has some trouble opening, but there we go, right there. Custom painted, really nice. Aquas Tristar. Also have Tristar's um, Baku Nano right there. Don't have Rat Radisson or Rocks Tour yet. Still looking for them at a decent price. Got Titanium Dragonoid. Also have Titanium's um, respective Baku Nano right here. Boom, boom. <laughs> Got a Pyrus Mercury Dragonoid complete, which is really awesome. Super happy with this Bakugan as well. And then I have Fusion Dragonoid, which is another Baku Sky Raider. Um, one of my favorite Bakugans actually in my collection. Really, really sweet Bakugan. And then finally for season four, I got a couple Marvel Bakugans. So I have Wolverine, Ooh, Wolverine. And then I have Iron Man and then Spider-Man. So I get them to open, there we go. Uh, Spider-Man is unfortunately missing some of a leg. This seems to be a common thing with Spider-Man. Like sometimes their legs break. Um, but yeah, also really nice to have in the set. And then last on the list is some of my Baku tech. I don't have many. Um, I put a lot of them up for sale. So I only have three, but I have Rise Dragon in a translucent. I have Flare Dragon in a translucent, which both of these are very nice to have in a collection, especially Flare. He's just an awesome Baku tech. And then lastly, I have Berry Beyond, which is a really cool one to have as well. But, uh, yeah, so that is actually all my like set collection right now. Again, still looking for a few. Uh, let me just get these guys in the picture here. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, feel free to leave a like, drop a comment, of course, subscribe for more awesome content. Like I said, this video took an immense amount of time to make. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be asking where I got these Bakugan, and I just wanna preface this by saying that these have been 
um, collected over a course of a little over a year now, and most of them have been found on eBay, Mercari, and then Discord selling sites like the Cube Cove from the Bakugan Reddit, um, and then just some other places like Baiyi and stuff like that. There is no special trick to finding them. I did get some incredible deals, um, but it's just a time thing. Like, you can't just immediately get the Bakugan. Like, they're much harder to find than now because of the course of time and people buying them up. But um, yeah, just want to preface that by saying there is no trick or skill to getting Bakugan like this. It just takes time and a whole lot of luck. Um, anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.